your Zetafix verification code not received. Now, if you're trying to log into Gmail or WhatsApp or Instagram, any service that's trying to text you on your phone a code so that you can log in, but you're never getting that code, I'm gonna walk you through steps that will definitely get that fixed. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now let's head into the settings here. And first we'll scroll down to the bottom and tap on apps and we need to get into the messages. So scroll down and tap on messages there. From here, we're gonna do a few different things. If you're on an iPhone, you'll see iMessage here. Just toggle this off and then wait a few seconds and turn it back on. You can see it says waiting for activation. This essentially reactivates your iMessage and a lot of times fixes text not coming through. The next thing that we will do is we'll scroll down because there are a couple other things that we need to enable as well. You can see send as text message. A lot of times when these other companies are texting you, they're texting you through an SMS text message, not through iMessage. So if you're on an iPhone or Android, you'll get it as just a normal text message. So you wanna make sure this is turned on so that you can send and receive text messages on your phone. The next thing we'll do is we'll scroll down here because you can see filter unknown senders. Now, if you have this turned on, I'm gonna turn it off. Essentially by filtering unknown senders, this means basically all of those text message codes that come to you are unknown senders. They're just bots texting you and it will filter them to a different location that you might not be able to find on your iPhone in the messages. Now, the next thing that we will do on here is that you can see here, if I scroll up a little bit, is blocked contacts. So tap on this and you might be thinking, I haven't blocked that specific random number, but you'd be surprised how many times I found people have blocked just random numbers. You can see I have maybe even thousands of numbers on here that I have blocked. And essentially what you're looking for is the number that they will text you from. So an easy way to do this is you can say on Google, what number does Instagram send text from, for instance? And you can see if I scroll down here, it says you will find that Instagram oh, sends text from the number 32665. So you're gonna look on your blocked contacts list to see if you've blocked that number. Again, it's really easy to just get these random texts and swipe to the left and accidentally block them, but you wanna make sure that they haven't been blocked. The next thing we'll do is we'll go back all the way to the very beginning here of your settings, and we're gonna tap on cellular. Once we tap on cellular, you can see the eSIM line. I'm gonna turn this line off. Essentially what this does is it disconnects my iPhone and the eSIM from my carrier. However, I can just reconnect it. And again, it will search for new towers and essentially reinitiate that connection so that all text messages that might be pending or trying to get to my phone will now just be able to come to my phone. And again, this fixes a lot of text message issues with that code not coming through. The last thing I would recommend doing is swiping down from the top right here and you can see if you have do not disturb turned on, this could be preventing or limiting your phone's ability to get those text messages or at least to get notifications for those. So if you have do not disturb turned on, I would recommend just turning that off, disabling all silencing of notifications and turning all of those off. And then you should be good to go. All of those text messages should come through to you. You might need to hit resend the code and you should get them directly to your phone and be able to log in. I hope this helps. Again, if you did, the best way you can say thank you is hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it.